good morning in this we will learn about chemical kinetics uh, a quick revision of chemical kinetics uh, here will be uh, so what is chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is an important branch of uh, chemistry um, it is used in chemical industries chemical engineering uh, to increase the yield of the product and uh, to decrease the time to complete the reaction uh, especially catalysts are added to increase the rate of the reaction what is chemical kinetics basically there are three there are several types of uh, uh, reactions for example slow reactions rusting of iron you have studied rusting of iron is a slow reaction the explosion reaction combustion reactions uh, they are all fast reactions uh, and all and so there are several types of reactions the rate of reaction depending upon the rate of reaction they are classified into slow reaction and fast reaction if the rate of the reaction is slow the velocity of the reaction if the velocity of the reaction is slow then it is called uh, slow reaction if the rate of the reaction is very high then it is called the uh, fast reaction okay now let us uh, see a simple example if you are watching a movie in a cinema hall uh, once the movie is over the 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 number of people the rate of people coming out that is the number of people coming out depends upon the number of people present inside the cinema hall for example in the initial time uh, once the cinema is over the number of people coming out the rate will be high as you go as the time goes by the rate of the reaction decreases that is the number of people coming out will be per unit time will be less therefore the rate of the uh, people coming out similarly the rate of the reaction for example let us consider a gives product okay a gives it is a very simple reaction uh, a uh, Con uh, reactant and B is the product. The rate of the reaction, the rate of the reaction or the velocity of the reaction can be measured either by um, decreasing the by measuring the decreasing the concentration of the reactant because as the reaction progresses, the concentration of A decreases. Whereas as you see, the concentration of A decreases with respect to time. At t equal to zero, concentration is A. Okay, the initial concentration A not or A. As you go, as time increases, the concentration of A de decreases, whereas the concentration of the product increases. Therefore, the rate of the reaction can be studied by following either the decrease in the concentration of A or an increase in the concentration of the P product. For example, the rate of reaction is given by the mathematical expression: velocity of the reaction equal to change in distance divided by time taken. Similarly, here change in concentration of uh, reactant divided by dP. Here, the minus sign is due to decrease in the concentration of the product the reactant. Whereas here, uh, in the case of if it is measured with respect to the concentration of the increase in the concentration of the product divided by time taken, that is the uh, the plus sign indicates the product is formed uh, in this reaction. Okay, let us. Uh, this is a very simple case. Let us take a general case A A plus B B M C plus M D. In this case, the rates are uh, not equal. For example, the rate of the reaction with respect to A, the rate of reaction with respect to B. This is the rate of reaction with respect. They are not equal. In order to make it equal, just divide by the coefficient. Okay. So here, then the coefficient is one by B. In order to make it there are several problems as to as we come uh, need or JEB or IIT JAM gate based on the basic fundamentals. Before we uh, try to solve them, before we solve the competitive exam questions, we need to understand the basics, uh, basics so that we can apply. Um, basically, if you understand, everything can be solved. If you don't understand, if you mug up, then it will be very difficult to. Um, solve any competitive exam questions. So you, you try to understand as much as possible. If you don't understand, you are consult your teacher. Okay, here it is one by m, sorry, m and one by m. In order to make them equal, let us now see what is molecularity and the order of reaction. In kinetics, these two are important terms in chemical kinetics. What are the uh, theoretical molecularity is obtained from theoretical method, whereas order is obtained from experimentally doing experimental method. Okay, 
Molecularity is obtained from theoretical mechanism by writing the mechanism of the reaction. We will see uh, next. And the kinetics, rate law, from the rate law, the order is determined. Molecularity can be n equal to 1 integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, n cannot be 0. Here n cannot be 0. Whereas in the, in, the case, in the order, in the case of order of reaction, n can be 0, 1, 2, 3, integer, and also fractional, 1 by 2, 0 0.25, etc. What is mechanism? Okay. Now let us first see mechanism. What is mechanism? For example, let us consider a simple organic reaction or organic reaction to hydrochloric acid in alkyl halide plus water. This is a basic, simple, fundamental equation. What is the mechanism? If you look at the mechanism, it takes place in three steps. In the first step, all OH, there are two lone pairs. As you know, there are two lone, lone pairs of oxygen. H plus is attached here, therefore it will form the cationic C here plus here. This is a very fast step because um, next uh, all OH, this is the bond, bond is cleaved. As you know, bond cleavage, bond breaking involves uh, energy, therefore it is an endothermic process, therefore it is a slow step. Okay? The bond is broken to give cation. To give carbocation plus water. This is the slowest step. The slowest step is called weight determining step. Weight determining step. And next R plus is there, and then you have Cl minus. They combine R Cl. This is the fast reaction because the ionic reactions are instantaneous, they are very fast. So the rate determining step in molecularity, the rate determining step is the slowest step, and the number of molecules involved, for example, in this rate determining step. In this rate determining step, the number of molecules involved is 1. Therefore, it is called unimolecular reaction. If uh, two molecules are involved, for example, if in some other case, two molecules are involved in the rate determining step, in the slowest step, then it is called uh, bimolecular reaction. Now, let us talk about uh, kinetics, the rate law. What is rate law? The rate of the reaction, for example, the rate of the reaction, dx by dt or minus ba by dt or dp by dt is directly proportional to concentration of a to the power a stoichiometric coefficient here stoichiometric coefficient and concentration of b concentration of b here therefore stoichiometric co uh, coefficient a and b are stoichiometric coefficients whereas in the case of uh, rate law a and b cannot uh, x and y x cannot be x can be y cannot be y but uh, it is determined by x and y or determined by x to y. For example, uh, a power x, the total order of the reaction is x plus y. Okay. How the order of the reaction is determined? By increasing the, by two-fold increase, for, for example, keep the concentration 0 0.1. You increase the concentration by two-fold. Okay. So what will be the rate of the reaction? What will be the rate of the reaction? If it increases two-fold, then it is first order. Suppose if, it, if you keep this, if you increase twofold, if it increases four times, then it, it is, the, with respect to A, the uh, order of the reaction is two. Similarly, we can determine the fractional order also. For example, next, this is the rate law expression. Okay, this is the rate law expression. This is very important expression. Um, then, what is, what is the rate constant? Where K is the rate constant. The rate constant of, rate constant is equal to the rate of the reaction when the concentrations of the reactants A and B are unity, one moles per liter, or becomes K. It is often as to write the unit for nth order reaction. For example, K, what is the unit of one K? K. Therefore, K equal to R by R by A power X, B power Y. You know moles uh, change in uh, rate equal to change in concentration divided by time. Therefore, moles per liter divided by second. So the unit is moles per liter by second and divided by moles per liter, this is again moles per liter, therefore moles per liter x plus y. Okay, suppose 1, here it will be 1, it is 0. So you can calculate the unit of the um, first order, uh, unit of the rate constant, unit of the rate constant. It is several times asked, uh, for next we will see there are different order of reaction, zero order reaction, first order reaction, different order, zero order reaction. First order reaction, second order reaction, etc. In this case, we will study only about uh, zero order reaction. Zero order reaction. For example, in zero order reaction, that is minus BA by DT, decrease in the concentration of A divided by D, D 
infinity, we could DH by infinity or DH by infinity we can call in textbook uh, in different manner they will write k a power 0 that is a power 0 with respect to uh, concentration of a in 0 order therefore anything to the power 0 equal to 1 therefore is k okay this is the differential form of this is called differential rate law okay they will ask what is the differential rate law now now let us cross multiply this side okay minus ba by dc and k Okay. Next, you take integral. Okay. Take integral. Once you take integral, minus a equal to kt plus a. Okay. On integration of this equation, you will get this. Now, let us apply the condition at t equal to 0. At t equal to 0, the concentration a equal to a naught because concentration is a naught. Therefore, uh, in this equation, a, a naught, it will become a naught k into t 0. Therefore, c equal to minus a naught. Okay, you understand this? C equal to minus a naught. Let us uh, substitute in this expression. Let us substitute c, which, uh, c equal to minus a naught. Therefore, minus a k c minus c instead of c, I put c equal to minus a naught. Okay. Therefore, on rearranging this equation, k t I will bring here. Therefore, k t equal to a naught minus a. Therefore, k equal to 1 by t a naught minus concentration of a naught minus concentration of a. This is the integrate, integrated rate law expression. This is called an integrated rate law expression. Okay. Now, let us see uh, how uh, in, in your textbook, this the rate is written as not minus dA by dt. It is written as dx by dt. Okay. So what is the a, a, the concentration of a equal to a minus x, the concentration of a naught equal to a. Therefore, in the expression a equal to 1 by t, 1 by t a equal to, if you substitute this, then you will get x equal to a t. For example, they will, uh, in, the, in the examination, competitive examination, they will ask the x plus x, uh, a plot of x versus t gives a straight line, gives a straight line passing through origin. What is the order of the reaction? So in this case, the order is zero order reaction. Okay, zero order reaction. This plot corresponds to zero order reaction. For example, the x equal to kt. Therefore, it is a straight line equation, y equal to n minus. It is a straight line equation, and it is passing through origin. Therefore, x, with respect to, uh, actually, uh, x, uh, the product increases, the product the product increases, for example, A gives product, I have shown you here, and this is A at time t equal to 0, and A minus x at the x. Therefore, x with respect to time, x increases. With respect to time, in the beginning, there is no product, x, as x increases, uh, time increases, uh, x, uh, time increases, the product concentration increases. Okay, similarly, your dx by dt, dx by dt equal to k. Here yeah, you see, dx, this is nothing but minus dA by dt in your textbook, dx by dt equal to k. dx by dt equal to k. The plot of rate of the reaction versus time gives a straight line. This is a constant because you will get, they will ask what is the order of the, they will give this plot, they will give this plot, and they will ask what is the order of the reaction. Okay, or for first order they, the plot will be different. Okay, now let us uh, see an important thing, instantaneous rate. What is the instantaneous rate? The rate at particular instant, for example, rate at 5 minutes. So for example, rate at 5 minutes. This is 5 minutes, let us say 5 minutes. How it is determined? For example, change in concentration by change in concentration divided by change in time equal to when time when the limit delta t tends to 0 then you will get dA this is instantaneous rate you will get the instantaneous rate when the limit delta t tends to 0 therefore this is uh, how do you get the instantaneous rate for example for this at this time you plot the this is the rate decreases with respect to time okay so for example in the beginning the rate is high the rate of number of people coming out from the cinema hall is high Therefore, at a particular time, 2 seconds, uh, 2 minutes, the number of people, the slope is great. The at this point, you draw a tan tangent line to find out the instantaneous rate. For example, at a particular instant, 2 minutes, and you note down the point, you draw a tangent line, and uh, 
uh, get the slope, the slope will be higher and this is a commonly asked question in uh, competitive examination, instantaneous rate and uh, five minutes, uh, let us draw a tangent at this point and uh, have a slope, the slope is decreasing, that is the slope is uh, dx, dx by dt, dx by dt, dx by dt, it is, uh, and now dx, this is greater, so the rate increases, at, after some time, uh, after a long time, the rate is zero, the rate is zero because uh, all the people, all the concentrations are consumed, all the uh, reactants are converted into product. A competitive examination question was asked based on uh, this. If you understand the basic concept, then you will be able to solve uh, most of the questions asked in the competitive examination. Uh, thank you for watching. We will continue the first order, second order, Arrhenius equation uh, and also parallel uh, reactions. Thank you.